seat tonight. Let's get straight down to the action because somebody could well win one million dollars in cold hard cash tonight. We're going to give away a million bucks, everybody. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's a bit half-hearted. We're going to give away a million bucks tonight, everyone. Yeah. That's more like it. Let's meet our contestants tonight. They are construction worker Nick Trey and Felides. Met Richard Branson and chatted about aviation. Seasoned traveller Woody Bucci performed stand-up comedy in Edinburgh and was a wrestler in Bolivia. Katrina Williams threw a duster at a student and accidentally set off the fire alarm. There you go. At age four, James Williamson used the neighbour's guinea pig to see if it would fly. It didn't. Sports nut Nikki McLean wants to fly to the US and take a sporting tour of the East Coast. And Carmel Barber attended the Royal Garden Party, hoping Prince William would say something controversial. Prince Philbin. Prince William, Prince Philip. The Duke of Edinburgh, he's the one who says something. That's usually. right, yes. He he's usually, been known to say it. Yes, he usually puts his foot in his he mouth. He does, has a bit of a go. All right, let's go. First up, Nick, you ready to play? Ready as ever, ready. Get that mullet up here, baby. That's magnificent. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Nick, try and follow this, mate. That is just, I've got to come around the back here and have a good go at that. Have a, have a look at that. The mud flap at the back, just magnificent there, isn't Thank it? Thank you, Eddie. Hey, party at, party at the back, business at the front. That's what we like to see. Jeez. How long have you been cultivating that mop for, mate? It looks fantastic. Uh, probably my third season. Third year? Yeah. Third year now. Uh... And how, what about the stash? The tash is a, a current, yeah. currently about two, three months in, Happy with it? in the works, trimming it. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking it, I'm liking yeah. it. Are you going to get the big Zapata coming all the way down, do you think? Or? It's a sort of a three-quarter Zapata, isn't it? Y yeah, you're right, Ed, you're yeah. right. You're absolutely right. We'll, s we'll see how we go, I suppose. See how you go, mate. It looks fantastic. Thank you. You could be an Aussie cricketer from the 70s. <laughs> That'd be great. Got, got the gold good. chain, got the Dennis Lilly gold chain around there as well. Thanks, Ed. Good yeah. on you, buddy. Looking good. OK, construction Thanks. worker. From Epping in Victoria, 38 years of age. Uh, Elpie is your sister? Yes. Okay, Elpie, how are you? Hi, Eddie. You're not uh, going to frizz the hair as well? No, no, no. no. <laughs> what do you think of it? It's wild. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nikki, come on, let's get stuck into it, mate. 15. I'm not quite sure, Eddie, but um, I'm going to pass, Eddie. Pass? Yes. Catch you later, Nick. All the best, Thank buddy. You. See ya. Woody Bucci, 23 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 23 today. Happy birthday, Woody. Thank you, Your mate Simon's up the back. Simon's in it. Good day, Simon. How you going, Eddie? What'd you get him for his birthday? Uh, probably about 14 shots at about midnight. Oh, right, fair mate. enough. There you go. Something to look forward to. Thanks, mate. Uh, well, you've done stand-up uh, comedy in Edinburgh, the Edinburgh Comedy Festival, I would gather. Yeah, mate, yeah. And you've also done some... Uh, Wrestling in Bolivia. Yes, yep. <laughs> What's that all about? What do you uh, think, Butch, was... Ca Butch Cassidy in the Sundance Kid or something? No, Bolivia? mate, no, I was just over there and uh, kind of stumbled across it one day and got to talking to a couple of locals and they gave me a gig, yeah. put me in the tights and the, the undies and I was there for a couple of months. Good fun? Yeah, oh, mate, it was unreal. How'd you yeah. go in Edinburgh? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Yeah, a couple of, Have you got one couple you of good tell gags. Us? Uh, probably not on camera. Oh, it's a bit right, crude. They're enough. a bit of a crude, crude mob, the Scots. So. Fair enough. All right. Australia's biggest morning tea is an annual event staged by which charity organisation? Red Cross, RSPCA, the Salvation Army, Cancer Council. Well, my mate Nick stitched me up a bit here because I'm not overly sure, but uh, I think I'm going to lock in D, the Cancer Council. Lock in Cancer Council? It's in. Correct for $1,000. Well played. <laughs> well played, Woody. Man. Got through that dodgy one that Nick left for you. Ugh. Left a little bit of a grenade there, Nick. The mullet crusader. The mullet of crusader nearly stitched you up, but you fought back beautifully, which means you're ten questions away from a million dollars right after this in the hot seat. <laughs> Woody Brooks is ready to go in the hot seat. Come on, Woody. You used to be a wrestler in Bolivia. What was? Did you have a name? El Gringo, mate. El Gringo. El Gringo. <laughs> and what, what about your signature hold or your move? Uh, a bit of an elbow off the turnbuckle. Is it? What the boomf? Uh, it's kind of to the side. I'd jump up and jump off to the side. Yeah? I can no. show you if you want later well, on. You can, mate. What about Flying Mare? Did you do any of those things? Or the step over toe hold? The nah, no. Suplex? The half Nelson? No, oh, mate. Nelson? I, mate, I did a few. The Hammerlock? I did a few, but yeah. uh, normally I was getting beaten up with planks of wood and that kind of thing. I was, yeah. I was, the, I was the villain, so. Fair enough. You're the bad guy. They like beating me up. Good on you, Woody. Okay. Looks like everyone likes beating you up, mate. <laughs> Here we go for 1500 Which aspect of the weather is indicated by a weather vane? 
A. Wind direction. B. Rainfall. C. Temperature. D. Air pressure. Uh, yeah, good question, Eddie. Good. Give me a good answer. <laughs> um, weather vane. A weather vane. Weather vane. Weather vane. No, it's not going to be temperature. I think it'll be rainfall. Ten. Air pressure or wind direction. Seven. I'm going to go with A, Eddie. Lock in A. Locked in with three seconds on the clock. The weather vane is the thing that sits up there with north, south, east, west and spins around when... The wind blows. The wind blows. Wind direction is correct. For 15. <laughs> One of the most famous ones, of course, is at Lord's, two and a half thousand dollars. The Middle English term thou means what in modern English? A, to, B, although, C, you, D, then. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm not going to uh, muck around with this one, I'm pretty sure it's C, Eddie. Lock it in? Lock in C. Locked you. in. Thou, you, correct, two and a half thousand. Thou art, you are. $4,000. Partnered with Hardy Ha Ha is the Hanna-Barbera cartoon character Lippy the what? A. Lizard. B. Lion. C. Leonard, uh, leopard. Leonard, leopard. D. Llama. Lippy the Lizard, Lippy the Lion, Lippy the Leopard, Lippy the Llama. There and is Hardy Ha Ha. Nothing about this question that is even remotely familiar to you. You don't anyway. know the Hanna-Barbera cartoon? No, I don't. Wow, 15 no. seconds. Is it before my time, Eddie? Or... Probably. Go on, get well, on with it. There you Smart go. Uh, <laughs> look, mate, I'll go with Lippy the Lion. Lions seem to be pretty lippy and toothy, so go with B, Lippy, Lippy the Lion. Lock in Lippy the Lion. Lippy the Lion and Hardy Ha Ha for 4000 <laughs> He was the eternal optimist, and Hardy Ha Ha was the pessimist, the hyena. Oh, me, oh, my. All that all the time. Mate, all, <laughs> all foreign to me. <laughs> 6,000 bucks is next, OK? Now it's time for the Take 5 Hot Seat Competition. Along with our friends at Take 5 magazine, we're giving you the chance to win one of ten island escapes to the newly renovated Holiday Inn in Vanuatu. Situated on the shores of Ericor Lagoon, the resort offers world-class facilities. So whether you choose to lounge by the pool or immerse yourself in the rich culture and history, Holiday Inn Vanuatu is the best place to begin your getaway. To play, all you have to do is buy this week's copy of Take 5 magazine with your hot seat games card attached. Tonight's question is, which of these nuts do not grow on trees? A. Almonds, B. Walnuts, C. Macadamias, D. Peanuts. Scratch a Wednesday panel, if it revealed D peanuts, then you're tonight's winner. Just follow the directions inside the games card to claim your prize. Be watching tomorrow for your next chance to win. We'll take a break, we'll come back, and let's hope that the optimist in you, Woody's, jumps up and wins $1 million. You're optimistic or pessimistic about that? Oh, I'm optimistic, mate. Are you lippy? More lippy than hearty ha-ha? No, well, evidently, if I've been beaten up too many times. You so. are indeed. Yeah. OK. Let's hope you can hold it together for a few more questions. Cheers, we'll mate. be back right after this. <laughs> Woody Bucci is a paramedic student at La Trobe University. How long to go before you finish up? Another couple of years, Eddie. Yeah, after being bashed up all these times and uh, being a wrestler, being a paramedic might be the safest bet yeah, for you, mate. Yeah, I might be able to administer a bit of first aid Sort out a few right? people. Good on you. Come yeah. on, Woody, let's go. Seven questions for a million bucks. How about that? Let's see. Here we go. Which of these champions has never won the Formula One Australian Grand Prix? A. Mark Webber. B. Michael Schumacher. C. Sebastian Vettel. D. Jensen Button. I think it's a bit early to call him a champion, but I'll lock in A. Mark Webber. Mark Webber, lock it in. Lock it in. Jeez, you're harsh. You're a harsh judge. <laughs> Roy and HG were a bit harsher on him. Oh, I yeah, no, he, does all, he does all right, though, Mark Webber. What was he, DNF, did they call him? Did yeah, not did finish? Not finish. Yeah. yeah, he won a few last year, though. Did he win the Australian Grand Prix? Yeah. I don't know, I don't follow motorsport, mate, but yeah, I he won a few. don't think he did. Won in Monaco, which is a big one. 
You didn't win this year at Monaco, though. No, he didn't win this year at Monaco, but he won last year. <laughs> How many times you won at Monaco? <laughs> which of these... a running race at the Monaco, oh, mate, Which of I... these champions has never won the Formula One Australian Grand Prix? It is, in fact, Mark Webber for $6,000. <laughs> Harsh, mate. I have to give you the Irish whip in a minute and the turn <laughs> the brain buster. <laughs> OK, here we go for six more questions for $1 million. Good luck, Woody. Thanks, mate. For 10 grand. In which year was Triple O first introduced as Australia's National Emergency Call Service? A, 1951. B, 1961. C, 1971. D, 1981. Again, before my time, Eddie, uh... I've only ever known it as triple zero. Make sure you say triple zero as well, not in, not triple O, just in case kids out there dial three O's. That's what I've learnt. Just give me the an answer. Well, I don't know the answer, mate, so I'm just going to take up a bit of time and try and pull one out again, and I'll lock in D, 1981. 1981? Thanks, mate. Lock it in. How old are you? 23 today, as you yeah. were discussed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 1981. 1961. Yeah, it took until the 80s, so for it to be rolled out nationwide. Prior to that, people had to know the number of their nearest service to call it directly. But uh, 1961 okay. is when it all happened for you. Hey, Woody, you did really well, mate. Congratulations. Got, I think, five in a row there. Right. Good luck with that. Happy birthday, pal. Thanks, Give me a big round of applause. Appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Hello, Katrina. You're a teacher and a student. Yes.